Still to come, we're going to be with Ty from Baxter Auto Parts in our In The Pit segment. But now it's time for our second behind the wheel, the 2007 Saturn View Greenline. What does Greenline mean? Well, Greenline is Saturn's word for hybrid. It's a slightly different hybrid from normal. It's a mild or assisted hybrid and works differently. You'll get 20% better on fuel economy. However, it will cost you $2,000 more than the regular view. Dennis Nee and look at the 2007 Saturn View Greenline. The first category for the Saturn View Green Line is Q-Factor, the gadget or tech score. And one gadget that every SUV needs is traction control, and this comes standard this time. It's also got OnStar, an optional input, uh, aux input for the audio system. And it's got the satellite radio as an option, too. I think that's a cool feature. Well, sure. There's not too much to talk about in this vehicle. Now, the Green Line obviously is a hybrid, and we'll talk about that in performance a lot more. But for Q-Factor, it's kind of a basic vehicle, and I think that you should point out the fact that it does have kind of that standard power group, windows, locks, mirrors, and it does have things like air conditioning, a lot of the things that kind of go standard with today's vehicles. But for Q-Factor, it is pretty basic, but it will get a little bump for the standard items like traction control. 3.75 for Q-Factor for the Saturn View Green Line. Curb Appeal is the next category for the Saturn View Green Line, and this isn't its strong category. It's it's plain. It's a, just a simple vanilla SUV. I think they call that a plain Jane. They do. And that worked a long time ago with Chevrolet, and I think it'll work with the buyer looking for the Saturn View. The problem is, is it, it's just that. It's very vanilla. It's very plain. The, the idea that this is going to be any kind of eye candy for the buyer is just not there. Now, we might have been a little rougher than we needed to be with this on the score, but the reality of it is this. It's just not that appealing to either one of us to the buyer it might be one of the best looking vehicles ever there is the opposite end of the spectrum for the saturn view lineup there is the red line now that is one with optional wheels it's more aggressive a little bit more body catting and it does take it to a different level but with the green line it is kind of basic so this is why we're going to score it 2.75 for curb appeal for the saturn view green line Performance is the next category for the Saturn View Green Line, and it's not your typical hybrid. It's really more of an electric assist gas motor that's a 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder that does 0 to 60 uh, in 10.7, which is almost three seconds slower than its gas counterpart. And it wasn't designed to be a barnstormer in performance. It was designed to have GM's technology be showcased in a much less expensive model than, say, the Toyota or Honda hybrids. And it does that very well. The idea of where the cost expenditure is in a, in a hybrid, or a, I guess what might might be called an assisted gas motor vehicle like the Green Line is the fact that it can do it for less cost when you're talking about initial dealer price. Now one thing I will point out, and I think you'll agree with me Ian, is the engagement of the assist yeah. is much smoother. We've complained about Toyota and Honda's system being very kind of herky-jerky at the start Yeah, my wife line. thought there was something wrong with one of the cars when she got it. She wasn't familiar with the system and she's like, it jerks every time I am at a complete stop and I don't like that. And I said, no, no, it's the hybrid system. Yeah, and with the hybrid system that's built in the green line, you don't feel that kind of herky jerkiness. You don't feel it engage and disengage. And I think that's a strong point for this. It is a simpler system with less cost. And I think that's the strong point. And that's why it's going to score where it does. We'll give it a three for performance for the Saturn View Green Line. Fit and finish is the next category for the Saturn View Green Line. And it does have some nice features. It's got the grocery boxes that pop out of the rear deck and the back end, and I think that's cool. Um, but it does have a lot of hard plastic feel inside of it for me. It feels like our old SL. Yeah, but see, that's where you and I argue or are different in opinion. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I saw it as an attribute to the vehicle, and certainly an attribute to the buyer. They're looking for something that has longevity, easy to clean. I mean, those hard materials that you just talked about are easy to clean because they're flat and basic, and right. it, you need to spray some Windex. I guess I just didn't think of it as like a you know a Ram 2500 that's at a work site. It's kind of a small, comfortable vanilla SUV, and I didn't. I think it was too hard for me. Well, sure, you throw a backpack in the back of it that's yeah. dirty from day hiking. You throw the dogs in the back. You can just wipe that stuff down. And I think that long term, the buyer's going to see the value in those pieces and why we kind of agreed on a score that was a little higher than what Ian thought and then a little lower than what I would have gave it overall. But how are we going to score it? We'll give it 3.75 for fit and finish for the Saturn View Green Line. Drivability is the final score for the Saturn View Greenland. I think this is its category. 
Well, its main competitor is the Escape Hybrid, and it's 3,000 less than that, and it's got 15 more horsepower than that. Well, sure, that's where it really is. Like you said, the strong point, the simplicity of the assisted system for the motor, the interior materials that you just talked about being, e you know, I had to say, they're easy to clean. Mm -hmm. It is a little vanilla, and that can kind of take away sometimes from drivability from the aesthetics, how it looks when you walk out in the driveway and I mean, you know, it's not the Range Rover Sport Supercharged. Sure, that's true. But overall, the buyer for this vehicle is going to get what they want. They're going to get a, an assisted SUV that can get a little better gas mileage. They feel like they're doing their part for the ecological impact on the world. And I think that's great. I think that's what the buyer's looking for, and they're going to get it. It's also got a great roomy back seat. We didn't talk on that yet. And it's also got uh, a low step-in height, which is good for older people or people with leg problems, which is kind of a rare thing in an SUV. Well, sure. You can also add in this nice little tidbit. It does not come in all-wheel drive, so it is a towable vehicle. Going back to maybe an elderly couple that wanted to tow it, put it behind their big diesel pusher. But for drivability, how are we going to score it? We'll give it a four for drivability for the Saturn View Green Line. Let's see how Denizenian scored the 2007 Saturn View Green Line. In Q-Factor, the Tech or Gadget score, they gave it a 3.75. In Curb Appeal, a 2.75. In Performance, what you'll find under the hood, a 3.0. Fit and Finish was a 3.75. And finally, Drivability, the overall usefulness of a vehicle, they gave it a 4.0. The total score for the 2007 Saturn View Green Line was 17.25 out of a possible 25. When fuel returns, we'll be in the pits with Ty from Baxter Auto Parts.